Hi and welcome to Omni Edition Garden City. I'm Dan York and with me is Scott Murray, the head football coach of Garden City High School. Welcome to the program. Hey Dan, thanks for having me. We want to talk about an event that's coming up, a very unique event that's coming up on August 22nd. I want to get the phrasing right. It's the Alumni Flag Football Extravaganza but it's actually a whole lot more than that, right? Yeah, hence the word extravaganza. There right? you go. We want to, uh, we're trying to promote and get as many athletes back involved with the program, both from uh, East, West, the original Garden City High School, and then the current Garden City High School after now it's been combined for some years. Okay, and the idea is to invite anyone, well really anyone, Yes. from the community, anyone who's ever played sports in Garden City at any of the high schools. But there's an emphasis also on some presentations that will be done for football players that have gone through the uh, the four incarnations of Garden City High School. Right, right. Yeah, it's, um, it's an effort to preserve our history is what we're trying to do. Um, we're looking at trying to uh, recognize and honor the guys that played football at Garden City High School um, whether it's East, West, the original school or the currently combined school. Um, and then if you've also gone on to play football in college, which is no easy task. Right. And, uh, and it, as, as years go by, those names are slipping away. And so I'm trying to capture those people and capture those names. And we want to honor those people because that's not an that's not easy task at all. Um, and we also want to honor some of our teams. Our, some of our teams have made the playoffs. And uh, unfortunately, right now, currently, there's no, nothing to be... Um, showing for that, sure, honored, right. honored around the school. So we want to honor those teams as well. Now, high school football is unique in that every other sport, everyone goes to some sort of district playoff. Right. But because of the enormity of, of football and because of the timing of high school football, that's not really possible with over 500 high schools in the state. Correct. There's actually 605 high schools in okay. the state. All right. um, but yeah, with the, with the amount of um, players and that type of thing and the timing of the sport, unfortunately the football um, programs, none of them automatically get a bid sure. to, the, to the school, to the playoffs. And right now it's 256 or something like that? Correct. Okay. Right. Yeah, there's 256 teams that make it and uh, you know we've been blessed three times to make it and, uh, and those teams I think deserve to be honored. And going even farther back, there was only half that much that made it? Right, yeah. yeah so and, and, that's, and that's through every grade level or every size school. So Correct. you take Garden City, which has always been a class A and West was a class B for a couple of minutes. But back then that meant only one quarter of the of the one half. Right. You know, so you're talking about thirty five schools, right? Right, right, exactly. Yeah. So it's definitely the new new current system is is sharing the wealth, if you will. Sure. And, and allowing more schools to go. But yeah, no, it's you're absolutely right. When I played and that wasn't too long ago. Yeah. Um or at least sure. I like to think sure that. it wasn't. At least I like to think yeah, keep that. telling yourself that. But uh uh, you know, we, we had records of six and three, um, and we didn't make it. And you didn't make it. Yeah. Right. I mean, really, it was one loss teams and no loss teams that made it to the playoffs Correct. up until this new playoff system. So a lot of very good teams, especially at East. Yes. Uh, Gary Humphrey, before there was any sort of playoff system, had an undefeated team that had nowhere to go because there was no playoff system. Correct. Exactly. Yes. Yep. And that was in the 70s. Yeah, that was in 70, I believe 72 to be That exact, sounds I right. Think. Yeah. Yeah. So, so an, honor, an, a, a, an attempt to recognize these players, and you've invited these players to come that day, right? Yes, yes. All the players, um, and we're still looking for, for players too, because we're doing a lot of this by word of mouth. And, and hence this interview and, and the, um, the articles in the paper and that type of thing, trying to get the word out. If you know somebody that, that is, has played at Garden City High School, went off to play four years of college football, um, please have them get in touch with us so that we can recognize them. But yeah, we definitely want to try and capture as many of these guys as possible and uh, get them on that wall of fame that we're doing out at the field house. Okay, so the ultimate goal here is a wall of fame outside. And also, uh, so, so this event is in, in a little bit of a fundraiser, correct? Correct, it is a little bit of a fundraiser. What we're doing, um, is we are trying to, we're gonna do a temporary wall of fame, if you will, attached right to the field house. Okay. And then uh, the goal is to actually uh, erect a wall somewhere out there where it can be more easily seen and, uh, and then use, use funds from either the brick pavers that we're, we'll probably talk about here shortly um, or the registration from this event um, to do that type of thing too. Okay, well. so if you are a former athlete from Garden City, mm -hmm. and not really not limited to that, but that pretty much covers anybody every, anyways, 25 bucks. Yes. 
and you then can participate and play in one of these flag football games that will be broken down by age and by decades, correct? Yep, we're going to look at breaking those down by the decades. Um, we are going to start out with, the day's going to kick off at noon with a, uh, a game uh, with the police, our own Garden City Police and Fire Department's uh, going to play a game, and uh, so that should be interesting to watch. Yeah. So uh, being a former police officer myself, you know, uh, they, those guys have a, uh, a unique... Uh, dynamic? Dynamic if you will, and, uh, and they like to get after it a little bit, that type of thing. So we've seen that uh, certainly in the hockey games that they play mm -hmm. and that type of thing. So anytime we can get the, the cops and the firefighters to compete, it's a good thing. Okay, very good. And then after that, it's hopefully a game, at least one game from every decade, right? Yep, that's Going the goal. Going all the way back to the 1950s Garden City High School. Correct, yeah. We'd love to uh, be able to have a, uh, a game at least a decade. Um, and if, if the interest is there, you know, we might even break that up and add multiple games per decade. Okay. But we definitely want to have the original people from the original Garden City High School, um, the teams from East and West, and then currently the, the current Garden City High School. Yeah, so we'd be playing. looking at, if all goes well, a game of the 50s for Garden City, the Garden City Panthers. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah. Uh, 60s East-West, 70s East-West, 80s East-West, although they were only uh, separated for three years that decade. Correct. And then uh, back to combining all of the Garden City kids together, right? And uh, and games going 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s. So right. And then just basically, however many people you get, break it down yep. based on that. Right. Exactly. And and you know you don't even have to be able body if you if you can't play in the game, we still want you to come out. Right. Um, we'd love to be able to uh, recognize people and. and you know, have them be at least announced, not necessarily individually, but at least with their teams sure. and that type of thing. We'd love to have people out. I want people to, um, I want people to feel like they belong there. Okay. And, and that's something that we've heard of, you know, or at least I've heard over the years is that, um, well, that's not really my school. Well, folks, this is the thing. This is all we have left, right, right. is this one high school. So, uh, you know, I want, the, I want the, the West people to feel uh, that they're included. And, and you know, the... Uh, the early 50 people, I want those guys to feel like they're included. You know, I know right. that, you know, when the cool schools combined in the, in the 80s and they switched and they went away from the Panther, right. you know, um, you know, I, I felt, I heard that some of those people felt like they were disenfranchised a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't want that any longer. I want, I want everybody to come, come back and, and have a place to call their own and have a place to visit and that type of thing. And, you know, and, uh, you know, preserve some of our history here. All right, so if folks want to participate in the games, there is a form online you'd like to have them fill out before then, right? Yes, there's a form online. Um, you can get that at uh, www.gccougarcountry.com, or you can uh, stop over if you're in town. You can stop over on Middle Belt Road across from the high school and get it in corporate graphics. Okay. Um, I believe there's also a Facebook site. Yeah, it's not that I've lost interest in the interview. I have to look on the phone to see what it is. So on Facebook, it's Garden City High School Alumni Community Event. That just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sure. Garden City High School Alumni Community Event. So either at the uh, gccougarcountry.com at Jim Knees and Corporate uh, Graphics up the street or almost across the street from high school, uh, right. from the high school. All kinds of ways to get that form. Yes. 25 bucks, but that is a donation. And also these folks get a t-shirt. Yes, they're going to get a t-shirt t as like well East for that. And like East West or whatever yes. school they're from, the appropriate t-shirt for that. Correct. Okay. Correct. Very yeah. good. And also adding corporate, uh, they have East and West and and Garden City Panther wear and all that stuff that they're yeah. doing specifically for this event, right? Yes, yes. I've even heard rumor of uh, them doing a uh, uh, an old letter sweater okay. from both the schools and maybe from the original school as well. So uh, they, they are definitely putting their best foot forward over in corporate graphics and supporting this event and, and getting behind it. Okay, and if you check out the Facebook page too, uh, there are some folks that are trying to put together the cheerleaders, majorettes, Color Guard, uh, Pom Pom Girls, all of that stuff to try to do something with them too. So that's open Absolutely. to everybody and it's yep. for everybody. And again, j it sounds like it's athlete specific. But really, this is a homecoming for the entire community is what yeah. this turns into, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. That's, and again, that's why we're calling it the extravaganza. We want it to, we want it to grow into something awesome that, that we want to have every year and that type of thing. You know, right now, we did not put annual on it um, just from the standpoint of, you know, I, I'm kind of worried about, hey, how's this, how's this going to be received? Sure. You know? and, and the other thing is this, too. How's it going to be received from us? You know, I'm not originally a Garden City guy. I feel like I've been adopted, and I, I'm appreciative of that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I just sit here and I, I look at what, what is slipping by and, uh, you know, we had meetings with, uh, 
Mr. Pinnell and we've had meetings with Mr. Drop and that type of thing and trying to get some of this uh, information and those yeah, guys. Yeah, the history before The history of it, yeah. Not there anymore. Right, right, exactly. And, and you know, those guys were great in helping us out identify a lot of guys, but even even those guys at times were scratching their heads, you know, and they're both sharp as tacks. Yeah. So um, we, it's important that we preserve this history, and, and I want people to come out and, and enjoy the game and enjoy enjoy each other's company, right? Can we rewrite the history where West didn't beat East for like, you know, 20 years? Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so let's talk about those brick pavers because that's also a fundraiser that you're yes. trying to do to go towards this wall of fame. Yes. Um, and actually what, what's going on with that is it's just been approved. So we don't even have forms out yet, but, uh, everybody's going to be able to purchase a, uh, a custom brick, um, for the, uh, for the paver area, which is going to be put in front of the concession area at the field house. So upon entrance into the, um, into the gate off of Cambridge lot, um, that's where the brick pavers are going to be. Uh, and there's going to be the original high school will be recognized there as will East and West and the current school. So there'll be four main bricks uh, recognizing the, the four schools, if you will. And, uh, and then from there, any sport, anybody, any athlete can put uh, their name on a brick um, and their sport, their logo, and then have it, um, have it, have it be placed out there. Okay. So... And so at this point in time, you've been able to contact and reach out to about 22 football players that have played four years of college? Yes, we've actually, I don't know that we've contacted every one of them. Okay, we've but been, identified we've them. We've okay. identified them at least, and we're working to contact them. We do have several of them have sent in bios already um, so that they can be recognized and that type of thing. So um, again, we are really trying to reach out to those guys and, and gather that information and at least contact them and, and let them know that, hey, this is what we're trying to do. Right. So, uh, so uh, you know, that's, we're, looking for, we're looking for those guys. All right, so the date is August 22nd. Yes. The location is Garden City High School, surprisingly enough, at the yeah. football field, uh, beginning at noon. At noon. With the Garden City Police and Fire flag football game. Yes, and we're going to have uh, medics on standby and that type of thing <laughs> and plenty of ice and, uh, and whatnot. So don't worry about blowing a hammy or something like that. Come on out and have a good time. Is there a cost to get in? There is no cost to get in. We, we're trying to keep it as, as minimal, the cost as minimal as possible. Um, again, we're just trying to generate enough money from, from folks that want to play in the game for the wall. Um, our, our thing is not to exclude anybody. We sure. want we want to have as many people there as possible. And concessions will be open, Cons so folks will be able to get food yep. and pop and that sort of concessions thing. Concessions will be open, and uh, my understanding is they're going to be fabulous. So uh, I've been assured of that. So it should be it should be a great time. All right. So the invitation goes out to the entire community. Again, if you are an athlete or were ever an athlete at either Garden City, the Garden City Panthers, the uh, East Panthers, the West Tigers, or the Garden City Cougars, right. go to gccougarcountry.com, that's gccougarcountry.com, or go to the Garden, boy, I have to look this up every single time, the Garden City High, you would have thought I would have wrote it down, the Garden City High School Alumni Community Event. Go to Facebook to find that and uh, trade some information. Let's talk a little bit about your football team first before we let you go. How long sure. have you been the football coach at Garden City High School? Um, head coach going into my sixth year. Okay. And uh, a couple of tough years, not, not the years you had hoped for the last couple of years. Yeah. What are you looking forward to this year? I, I think that I really like our team. I, I love our team, actually. We, uh, we've got, we, we, I'm just here off of a, uh, a great workout, watching the kids work out and that type of thing. And uh, they, they never seem to um, not impress us. They, uh, you know, a little bit warmer today in the 90s yeah. and that type of thing, right? <laughs> I don't know, you, but you're down here in this uh, dungeon with yeah, that cold sweater it's on. It's 45 degrees yeah. in here, so it's okay. Yeah. But, uh, but no, the kids work their tails off today and that type of thing, and just real impressive. And, and we're really athletic, really strong, um, really athletic and that type of thing. And we're, we're going to be tough to beat. Um, you know, last year, unfortunately, we lost, really, when you boil it down, we lost two games by a total of three points. So... Um, and I don't see us. I don't see this team being, you know, that far behind last year's team. Mm -hmm. um, we do have some inexperience in some spots and that type of thing. But, but that's our, high school, right? Yeah, that's high school. Four ball years, and, you're gone. Yeah, absolutely. But we've got kids that are stepping up and doing a great job. So I'm really, uh, I'm really pleased with where we're at right now. Okay. And, uh, and the one thing you've been able to do though is numbers. You've gotten the numbers up inside of the program. I mean, you yeah. you have one of the larger squads 
for in this area, don't you? Yeah, we do. In our league, actually, we've got um, our, our numbers are pretty up. I mean, we go to play teams. We've normally got teams in the 50s, and we're playing teams in you know 25s to 35 at range. Right. You know, with kids involved in the program. So. And if the money was there, you could easily have freshman football. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We could easily have freshman football. So, yeah. Eventually, maybe that'll happen, but you know, I'm not holding my breath. It is what it is. We've got some struggles going on right now with the school system and that Absolutely. type of thing. So, yep. you know, we're uh, we're doing the best we can with what we got, and you know, I think we're doing a pretty darn good job. So, open up against. We're going to open up against Ferndale. Okay, and that's and two August, Fridays before the Friday before Labor Day, right? Yeah, it's August 28th. Yeah, okay. August 28th, and uh, so we open up against them then at we're home. On, yep, at home, and then we're going to be road dogs for a couple weeks, and then come back, and we've got three home games. Six as well. home games though this year, huh? Six home games. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah. The only negative thing is our JV's got to travel for six games. So. Yeah, it's JV. It's okay. yeah. They don't mind. Though. Yeah, they don't mind. <laughs> they just want to play. Yeah. All but, right. By the way, one yes, one last thing with this with this community event and that type of thing. Uh, former players, we're actually the current team is actually going to be practicing that morning. Okay. So we'll practice from like 9 to about 11.30, and uh, I'd love to have those guys out to come and watch practice as well. Okay. So And to and Jim Neve, who has been working on this very hard, been three Jim Neves in this town. Yes. The dad, or the Jim Neve Sr., I guess, who was a supervisor for the Department of Public Service here in Garden City. We talk about this on the games when we plug in corporate because they provide all of the apparel for the, for the crew for GCTV. Jim Neve the second, I guess. I don't know if he's a junior or not, but Jim right. Neve the middle right. is the guy that's been working on this and, and, and working very hard to make sure this happens. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And his son, Jim Neve the third-ish, uh, who owns Incorporate Graphics there and Incorporate Marketing across the street from, uh, from the high school with some really great stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, they do a great job. All right. So. August 22nd, make sure you're there beginning at noon, running probably till 5, 6, 7 o'clock that night. Yep. Flag football all day long. If nothing else, a great chance to reminisce and run into some of your old friends and, and meet some people you went to high school with and, and, and just a homecoming, really. Yeah, absolutely. Homecoming for grown-ups, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And bellish those stories a little bit, too. Oh, yeah. They always get a little yeah, bit better on, on those, age. Work on those before the 22nd. Right. All right, Scott, good luck with this. We'll see you there. Hey, thank you so much. All right, that's Omni Edition Garden City for this week. Thanks for watching, and good night, everybody.